A chemistry set is an educational toy allowing the user, typically a teenager, to perform simple chemistry experiments. Topic: History. Topic: Forerunners. The earliest forerunners of the chemistry set are 17th century books on natural magic, which all excellent wise men do admit and embrace and worship with great applause. Neither is there anything more highly esteemed or better thought of by men of learning. Authors such as Jean Battista della Porta included chemical magic tricks and scientific puzzles, along with more serious topics. The earliest chemistry sets were developed in the 18th century in England and Germany, with the purpose of teaching chemistry to adults. In 1791, description of a portable chest of chemistry, or, complete collection of chemical tests for the use of chemists, physicians, mineralogists, metallurgists, scientific artists, manufacturers, farmers, and the cultivators of natural philosophy by Johann Friedrich August Gottling, translated from German, was published in English. Friedrich Acume of London, England also sold portable chemistry sets and materials to refill them. Used primarily for training druggists and medical students, they could also be carried and used in the field. Scientific kits also attracted well educated members of the upper class who enjoyed experimenting and demonstrating their results. James Woodhouse of Philadelphia presented a young chemist's pocket companion 1797 with an accompanying portable laboratory, specifically targeted ladies and gentlemen. Jane Marsett's books on chemistry helped to popularize chemistry as a well-to-do pastime for both men and women. Beginning in the late 1850s John J. Griffin and Sons sold a line of chemical cabinets, eventually offering 11 categories. These were marketed primarily to adults including elementary school teachers as well as students at the Royal Naval College, the Royal Agricultural Society, and the universities of Oxford and Cambridge. In the mid to late 1800s England, magic and illusion toys enabled children to make their own fireworks, create disappearing inks and cause changes in color, tricks which were mostly chemically based. The Columbian Cyclopedia of 1897 defines chemistry toys as mostly pyrotechnic, recommended as illustrating to the young the rudiments of chemistry, but probably more dangerous than efficient for such use, listing a variety of hazardous examples. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry sets as toys. Beginning in the early 1900s, modern chemistry sets targeted younger people with the intention to popularize chemistry. In the United States, Porter Chemical Company and the A.C. Gilbert Company produced the best-known sets. Although Porter and Gilbert were the largest American producers of chemistry sets, other manufacturers such as the Skillcraft Corporation were also active. John J. Porter and his brother Harold Mitchell Porter began the Porter Chemical Company in 1914. Their initial purpose was to sell packaged chemicals, but they soon introduced kits. John researched the experiments, while Harold wrote the instruction manuals. Their earliest toys, under the Chemcraft trademark, were chemical magic sets, selling for less than $1 or about $25 in 2017. By the 1920s, they sold six different sets, the largest of which sold for $25 or about $320 in 2017. Their range of toys broadened throughout the 1930s. In the 1950s it was possible to buy toys featuring radioactive ores, such as the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory, which included a Geiger counter and cloud chamber. Alfred Carlton Gilbert earned money by performing magic tricks while a medical student at Yale. He and John Petrie formed the Maisto Manufacturing Company later the A.C. Gilbert Company in 1909, and began selling boxed magic sets. By 1917, they sold chemistry sets, which they produced through World War II, in spite of restrictions on materials. Robert Treat Johnson, noting the number of chemistry students at Yale whose interest in the science began with a chemistry set, argued the production of chemistry sets was a patriotic duty. Toy companies promoted chemistry sets through advertising campaigns, the Chemcraft Chemist Club, and its accompanying Chemcraft Science Magazine, comic books, and essay contests such as Porter's Why I Want to Be a Scientist. The goal of attracting students to a potential career in chemistry was often explicit in the set's naming and promotion. Chemistry sets may have been the first American toys marketed toward parents with the goal of improving 
children for success in later life. The target market for chemistry sets was almost exclusively at boys, whom they deemed young men of science. However, during the 1950s, Gilbert managed to introduce a set targeting girls. They sold the set in an attractive pink box, but the set identified girls as laboratory assistants or lab technicians. Not scientists. Well known chemistry sets from the United Kingdom include the 1960s and 1970s sets by Thomas Salter Science, produced in Scotland, and later Salter Science, then the Merit sets through the 1970s and 1980s. Decatoys created a range of sets which were similar, complete with glass test tubes of dry chemicals. Topic decline Around the 1960s, increasing social distrust of chemistry, safety concerns, and government regulation began to limit the range of materials and experiments available in chemistry sets. In the United States, the Federal Hazardous Substances Labeling Act of 1960, the Toy Safety Act of 1969 and the Consumer Product Safety Commission, established in 1972, and the Toxic Substances Control Act of 1976 all introduced new levels of regulation, which led to the decline of chemistry sets popularity during the 1970s and 1980s. The A.C. Gilbert Company went out of business in 1967, and the Porter Chemical Company went out of business in 1984. Modern chemistry sets, with a few exceptions, tend to include a more restricted range of chemicals and simplified instructions. Many chemistry kits are single use, containing only the types and amounts of chemicals for a specific application. Several authors note from the 1980s on, concerns about illegal drug production, terrorism, and legal liability have led to chemistry sets becoming increasingly bland and unexciting. Nonetheless, a GCSE equipment set was produced, offering students better equipment, and there is a more upmarket range of sets available from Thames and Cosmos such as the C3000 kit. Topic. Contents. Typical contents found in chemistry sets, including equipment and chemicals, might include topic. Equipment Vials of dry chemicals Metal wires, such as copper, nickel or zinc Metal filings, such as iron Graphite rods A balance and weights A measuring cylinder a thermometer A magnifying glass Pipettes Beakers, retorts, flasks, test tubes, U-tubes or other reaction vessels Cork stoppers Watch glasses Glass and rubber tubing Test tube holders, retort stands and clamps An alcohol burner or other heat source A filter funnel and filter paper Universal indicator paper or litmus paper Safety goggles An instruction manual Topic. Chemicals The experiments described in the instruction manual typically require a number of chemicals not shipped with the chemistry set, because they are common household chemicals Acetic acid, in vinegar Ammonium carbonate Baker's ammonia, or salts of hartshorn, citric acid in lemons, ethanol in denatured alcohol, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, sodium chloride, table salt. Other chemicals, including strong acids, bases and oxidizers cannot be safely shipped with the set and others having a limited shelf life have to be purchased separately from a drug store. Hydrochloric acid Hydrogen peroxide Silver nitrate Sodium hydroxide Topic. See also Amateur chemistry List of commonly available chemicals